Hoi there small fry, Jim Sterling here and it's another edition of Itch.io Tasty, the series where we put random words into itch.io and see what kind of wacky and fun games appear through the search engine. It's Black Friday today, the day where we celebrate rampant, thoughtless consumerism and some of us feel very smug by pointing out that it's rampant, thoughtless consumerism. Uh, over here though, what we're going to do is put the word Friday into itch.io and see what happens. Black Friday, it turns out, was a little bit too specific, but Friday gets that and a few other games. So let's just get on with it. Let's see what games turned up and put them through their paces. How nice. First up on the chopping board is Spooky Friday, which is listed as Spooky Friday prototype. Uh, this is very much a prototype, that's what it is. It's a platformer of sorts. You're a cat side-scrolling, collecting uh, sweets uh, from the looks of it. I, I, it. It doesn't really tell you too much from the... From the Got to keep getting those sweet, sweet treats, otherwise the cat turns into a skeleton, which is kind of cool. Uh, visually, it's very, very pretty. It's got a great art style to it, but right now that, that is about the best that can be said of it. It doesn't run very well. It's very choppy looking, uh, and it seems to be uh, part of the reason for the choppiness isn't the game itself running poorly. It seems to be a stylistic choice, which isn't a good stylistic choice. Uh, sometimes you can get away with missing frames and stuff on purpose if, it's, if it serves a purpose, but here it, it just makes it feel like it runs janky even though it's running just fine. Uh, also, being a prototype, of course, there's not a lot else to it. You're just walking from left to right and in a rather short space of time picking up sweets. But there's promise there. Could be a good game at some point. Uh, and maybe it is out already. Maybe we just found the prototype. I don't know. I'll Google it later. But for right now, this is going to get uh, uh, three discounts out of the Black Friday sale. These themed ones get harder and harder to come up with scoring systems for. What may be the pick of the litter this week, potentially, is Friday the 2013th. Now... I say potentially because I didn't get to see the game at its full potential because nobody's playing it. But it's a remake, essentially, of the NES version of Friday the 13th. But with an online component where other kids are being played by other players. Now, as I say, no one else is playing it, so it was just me wandering around. But I did get a really good idea of, of what it is. And I really liked it. I really like the, the other stylistic changes they've made. They've added a, a kind of... Uh, some 3D effects to it. Uh, they've added some cute little extra visual touches, uh, some little in-jokes and stuff. Um, the original NES game, of course, is something of a of a kind of classic, I guess, uh, and a lot of that's recreated here. But it, it's kind of fun. I, I imagine it would have been a lot more fun if other people were playing, uh, but it's very well made, obviously completely unlicensed, uh, but hey, those guys that are doing the Friday the 13th game right now, they got given the license. Maybe give the license to these people as well so we can get the NES version. Mind you, I, I guess it wouldn't be up to just the Crystal Lake production people. I guess whoever owned the license to the original game as well. But someone saw it. Someone let this person remake it officially and put it on like the 3DS or something. Because that'd be amazing. Online Friday the 13th. Like, I love Jason Voorhees, and I'd love to play this on a 3DS online with people. I'd really like it. So someone, someone make, someone do Friday the 23rd, someone do it up, please. Thank you. Black Friday Rush was done for some sort of PewDiePie game jam. Uh, and as such, being a, a game jam game, and obviously being... I mean, you can just look at it. It's, it's not great, but then it was never designed to be. Uh, it doesn't really have much to it. Your the the trolley moves automatically. Sorry, the shopping cart for the Americans moves automatically, and you just move the mouse left and right uh, to pick up the the, the pamphlets that appear. Uh, that's that's really all there is to it. If you crash, it's game over, and there it is. It, it's not really uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. I don't want to be mean because it's a game jam game and, and, you know, not trying to make money off itself or anything. It's just there. That, that's what it is. It's just there. So it gets a there out of OK. I didn't score the front of the 13th one either. That gets hockey masks. 100% hockey masks. I hate this gimmick. 
So like I said, Black Friday was very restricted as a search term, but Friday didn't really turn up much either, so this is the last one of the bunch. Uh, this one is, it's cute. I'll say that much. It, it's Super Black Friday Sweep. It's mechanically very similar to the other Black Friday game, uh, except it's got a little bit more action to it. Here you're running around collecting as many deals as possible, uh, smacking the space button to uh, hit other shoppers and get their deals. With a little more work on this, this could actually be quite a fun time waster. I could see this playing well on the, uh, you know, the mobile market, iOS devices and all that shite. Um, if there was a little bit more to it, because, you know, there's no real risk for you. Uh, the, the other shoppers don't hit back, at least as far as I can see. And it is just a one-off um, timed thing, and then you've got to restart the game to play it again. But if there was more put into it, I think that's something that would be worth like 99 cents on a mobile uh, store. It's, it's all right, it's, it's okay, it's all right. It's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Black Friday game. It's a, it's a Black Friday game, Black Friday, so this gets black out of Friday, yes. And that was it, really. Um, there was some promising stuff in there. I do like the Friday the 2013th game. Uh, before we go, I do have to point out what happens when you die in that Black Friday Rush game. Uh, you get to uh, <laughs> read this game over screen, which is the best game over screen I've ever seen in a game. Uh, it says, you died in the mayhem of the Black Friday. Your wife is crying and your children's lost their father in the storm. This year will be a silent Christmas. <laughs> I mean, that's better than you died. That is the best game over screen I have ever seen. So that raises my estimation of Black Friday Rush. Uh, but otherwise, there we go. That was a Black Friday episode. That was good. Now I'm, I've, I've done a thing. It's a themed thing. And now I'm going to go and, I don't know, not, not, not buy a big TV because I, I value my dignity.